All right, guys, we're going to be working on uh, simple genetics today, monohybrid crosses, sometimes also known as a Punnett square. So we're going to go over some terms that we need to know. So we have an allele. An allele is a variation of a gene. We usually write those with um, letters because you're going to get one from your mom, one from your dad. Dominant are the ones that are going to be expressed. And we usually write those with a capital letter. Recessive are only expressed if you have two of the same alleles. So our phenotype would then be our physical appearance. It is what you see and then our genotype will be the, the genes combinations. And you can see that as big T, big T, big T, little T, or little T, little T. We also have homozygous. Homozygous meaning same alleles. So that could be written as big T, big T, or little T, little T, because those are both the same alleles. Heterozygous are different. So you can only have big T, little t, for heterozygous. We have something that's also known as purebred. If they are purebred, they are homozygous. Either going to be homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive because they have the same alleles. Uh, not hybrid. Hybrid would be heterozygous. or different, so that would be big T, little t. We also have what is known as, sometimes you'll see it homozygous dominant. If it's dominant, then we're, it's capital letters, so that would be big T, big T. If it's homozygous recessive, it's the only way it'll be expressed is if it's little t, little t. So now that we've got our basic terms down, now let's go into how to practice these Punnett squares. So we're going to create a Punnett square, which is also called a monohybrid cross. If we have our capital B is for brown fur, our little b is for white fur. Here we have two heterozygous parents. So we can say this is mom, this is dad. So because each one will represent a parent, we're going to create our Punnett square. A simple Punnett square only has four boxes. So then we're going to take our mom and I'm going to put her down the side. Notice how the capital B went to one box, the little b went to the other box. I'll do the dad across the top. And again, capital B to one box, little b to the other box. Now we just fill in our boxes. And a way to do that is we're going to bring this guy over and this guy down. And we'll do the same thing for over here. So we're going to put our capital B from over here, then our little b. We'll do the same thing on the bottom row. Capital B comes first since he's dominant, and then our little b. 
and then we're going to put our two B little B's together. So we filled out our Punnett square, but we are not done. We need to know our genotypes and our phenotypes. So our genotypes are basically it's what we put in our box. So we would write it out as one big B, big B. We've got two little big B, little B, and one little B, little B. So we have a ratio of one to two to one for our ratios, one to two to one. Our phenotype is physical appearance. So we are going to list out what they would look like. So we, for brown, remember capital B is brown, so anything with a capital B would be brown. And the only way white fur is expressed is if it's homozygous recessive, and so it would be two little b's. So we have a capital B, a capital B, and a capital B means we have three brown fur, and then our one and only one white fur. Okay, so then our phenotypes would be our physical appearance. Genotypes is the allele ratios, so our combinations. So we would have homozygous dominant, heterozygous, homozygous recessive. And let's back up and kind of go over that one more time just to make sure that we, we truly understand that. So remember... Homozygous meaning same. So dominant is a capital letter, so we could write out as big T, big T. Homozygous recessive meaning same, so they have the same alleles, so that would be little t, little t, or whatever letter you chose to use. Like for instance, the last time we chose a B for, for fur color. And then heterozygous is different. So that would be big T, little t, because you have a capital letter and then you have a lowercase letter, so they are two different alleles. Okay, let's try one more Punnett square. So again, let's do T's this time. So we have capital T for tall, little t for short. So this time we're going to cross the dad, who is very tall, he's homozygous dominant, with the mom, who is homozygous recessive. So we create our Punnett square. Our dad will put on the side, so we're going to put him down here, so big T. Big T, remember, it's one letter per row. And then our mom will put on top, little t, little t. And then we're going to fill in our boxes. Our capital letter always comes first. We're going to do the last row. Big T, little t, big T, little t. So now our genotypes. is we have four that are big T, little t. So we have a ratio of zero, four, to zero, because this would be homozygous dominant. This is hetero. This is homozygous recessive. And then our phenotype is we go off of what our capital T represents, and so each box has a big capital T, we have four tall. If you still have questions, please make sure you ask me in class.